Okay, well, giant African land snails are one of the world's largest snail species. Uh, they get to about 20 centimetres in length. So wh what are they doing there? How have they l ended up in Florida? Well, originally, um, the giant African land snail is from, from East Africa, from, from Kenya and Tanzania. Uh, and over the last uh, several hundred years, really, it's been transported around the world to similar hot, humid environments. So yeah, they now find in areas such as China, India, across Southeast Asia, uh, the Caribbean and, and the US. And what damage can they do? I mean, you know, presumably they, they do the same as an ordinary small snail, only ten times more. Well, uh, they eat a wide variety of vegetation, so they're not really restricted to, to a specialist diet. So when, when they end up in, in new countries, they, they can really eat pretty much whatever is on offer. And they eat huge amounts, and they eat both uh, native vegetation and crops as well, so they really are a, a serious pest species. And easy to eradicate or not? No, it doesn't seem to be. Um, there's been many occasions across the world where these have been introduced uh, in areas such as uh, Hawaii uh, and Polynesian islands such as Tahiti. Uh, there's been many attempts to, to rid the species from the area. Uh, none have been very successful and, and in fact some of the attempts have actually damaged uh, a local native snail species as well, so no, very hard species to get rid of. So what is the advice? What do you do? I'm not sure really what the answer is. Uh, there's a, a range of uh, kind of Things that can be done, uh, molluscicides using chemicals that, that actively target and kill the snails, um, collecting them. Um, in some areas they've been targeted as food, used as a food source which helps to remove them uh, from the environment, but no, there's no clear answer. Um, it, it, and they breed like rabbits, if you can breed like rabbits if you're a mollusk. If you're a snail. Yeah, uh, yeah each time they uh, lay eggs, they lay about 200, and they can reproduce five to six times a year if the temperature and humidity are correct. They're also hermaphrodites, so they have male and female sexual organs. So after uh, reproduction occurs, then both individuals can lay eggs, so vastly increasing the number of eggs and so individual in the environment.